hi guys welcome to my youtube channel and in this video we will briefly discuss about Bernoulli equation this is a, this is a formula or this is a topic for fluid dynamics in which we will consider the pipe which is irregular shape in which the area of this that region or this is shaded area of region 1 and this is shaded area of region 2 in which the uh, the shaded area having the area a1 and the fluid flow is moving in the region of delta x1 having the velocity v1 and the pressure of that fluid is p1 in the region uh, 1 but in the region 2 the fluid flow is moving in the direction away from the or outside of the liquid or outside of the uh, pipe so this is the direction of the flow in which the uh, it is it is opposite direction because in the first region uh, the fluid is coming inside and in the region uh, in the region 2 the fluid is uh, going outside the pipe having the height h1 and h2 respectively for the re for these regions so first of all we need to calculate the force in the region 1 and region 2 respectively for every region the fo uh, force for region 1 is known as f1 and force for region 2 is known as f2 we need to calculate both of these forces in these regions we know the formula of pressure which is known as force per unit area so respectively in this region 1 we have pressure and area a and in the region 2 we also have pressure and area so we need to calculate or we need to apply that formula pressure is equal to force per unit volume so pressure is equal to force per unit area in this case we can calculate the force value of force for region 1 and region 2 respectively which is the product of pressure and area a so for region 1 f1 uh, is denoted so f1 is equal to product of p1 pressure 1 in the region 1 and the pressure uh, and the area in the region 1 also so in addition we can also calculate the force in the region 2 as well in the similar way because uh, the, this is the same mechanism the force is producing by using the pressure and area in the region 2 also so F2 will be product of pressure in the region 2 multiplied by area of region 2 which is shaded area which is shown in the red lines furthermore we can discuss the direction of flow in the region 1 the direction of flow is inside the pipe which is positive sign but in the region 2 the direction of flow is outside the pipe that is why its direction will its direction will show the negative sign so we will show the negative sign in addition we can also discuss about the work done in the region 1 as well as the work done in the region 2 so we need to calculate the work done w1 for region 1 and w2 for region 2 we usually we know the formula of work done work is equal to force multiplied by distance or small portion of the displacement so uh, the product of force and displacement is known as work in this case the displacement or distance is delta x1 and the force it will be f1 for region 1 we will put the value of f1 and delta d will be replaced by delta x1 because we are dealing with region 1 which is replaced by delta x1 so uh, similarly uh, for the work done by in the region 2 will be uh, the product of force in the region 2 multiplied by distance so we are dealing with uh, region 1 so every a subscript will be 1 like w1 is equal to f1 delta x1 and if we multiply or if we open the value of f1 in this expression is equal to p1 a1 delta x1 will be the value of w1 or the work done in the region 1 similarly for the region 2 the work done will also be calculated uh, by using the same formula w2 is equal to f2 dot delta d2 
which will be F2 multiply by uh, force multiply by displacement or small displacement so in the region 2 it is replaced by delta x2 the work done in the region 2 which is known as w2 is equal to f2 it means p2 a2 and delta x2 because force is replaced by area and pressure so this is the second expression and negative sign show the direction of the flow of the fluid because it is moving outside the uh, pipe. Be uh, pipe is has irregular shape and uh, its area will be changed as compared to region 1. So the pressure will also change. See that is why negative sign is shown because the uh, direction of flow of liquid in the region 2 as well. Similarly we can find out the total work done uh, on the whole pipe which will be the the sum of work done in the region 1 plus uh, work done in the region 2 which is known as W2 so the sum of all the work done in the system will be total work done so we will add these two terms which will be P1 A1 delta X1 minus P2 A2 minus sign is shown already uh, in the expression of delta uh, w2 which will be minus p2 a2 delta x2 if we know the equation of continuity the equation of continuity is known as area multiplied by velocity of the fluid or the product of area multiplied by velocity or the fluid flow or flow rate is known as equation of continuity so in this expression we will use that equation of continuity in order to understand the difference of pressure against the total work done on the system so on the pipe so the equation of continuity will become a1 v1 is equal to a2 v2 which is constant value so we will make this uh, constant value in order to calculate the final uh, final term so as i previously mentioned that the equation of continuity is equal to product of area multiplied by velocity this v1 is velocity not a volume please remember that so by applying the equation of continuity we can get the value of difference of pressures in terms of total work done so the total work done will be p1 uh, a1 and delta x1 which will be replaced by uh, a1 v1 and minus p2 into a2 v2 we know this expression a1 v1 which is a constant value which is known as volume it can be all it can also be replaced by volume p1 minus p2 multiply by volume or a a multiply by v which is uh, this v is a velocity not a volume so a multiply by velocity become volume so we will replace it by volume after that we we will need to calculate the value of volume because these two regions are uh, irregular shapes so we need to calculate the volume or we need to calculate the final volume or uh, of that region in order to understand the value of volume we know the general formula for the volume for region 1 or region 2 or for any region which will be density is equal to from the relation of density is equal to mass per unit volume so I will write it right now so density will be uh, replaced from the value of volume so we can find the value of volume is equal to mass over density so volume is equal to mass over density we will replace this value of volume in that expression so total work done will be P1 minus P2 and uh, M over rho which is known as M over density of that liquid. That liquid may be any liquid in the uh, pipe or in the system. P1 minus P2 into M over rho or density. So this is expression A. We can write this expression A and we know that the mass of the fluid is flowing 
having some velocity v it may have some energy or some kinetic energy because mass and velocity are included so we will need to calculate the change in kinetic energy is equal to uh, kinetic energy of second region minus kinetic energy of first region because mass and velocity are involved in, in these regions so the second the kinetic energy for region 1 also included which is minus from the second final minus initial kinetic energy similarly that liquid or that pipe is present at some height so the region 1 is also present some height and region 2 also present some height so the change in kind potential energy can also be calculated from this region which will be mgh2 for region 2 minus mgh1 for region 1 so the mass of the fluid can be considered as a constant value similarly g is a gravitational constant and only the difference is height for region 2 height is h2 and for region 1 height is h1 so we need to apply the formula or the theorem of equation or a law of conservation of energy or work energy principle which states that work and energies are involved the change in potential energy and kinetic energy or change in total energy is equal to work done total work done so the work done is equal to change in kinetic energy plus change in potential energy so in this case we have the value of work done which is related to change in pressure or difference of pressure multiplied by mass over uh, density so in this case all the values can be put in this expression and we can find the value of final expression of the Bernoulli theorem similarly the value of W is equal to P1 minus P2 multiply by m over rho which is known as density is equal to change in kinetic energy 1 by 2 mv square m2 v2 square minus 1 by 2 m1 v1 square so in addition the change in potential energy will be plus m g h 2 minus m g h 1 so this liquid is flowing in the flow, uh, pipe is incompressible and there is no internal friction between these layers so the mass of this liquid is same we can uh, remove the subscript of mass m1 or m2 which will be m so we will take common of m from each term because every term has a value or term of m mass so we will take common from the right side of the equation and left side also has a um, value of mass so m is taken as common the remaining term will be 1 by 2 v2 square minus 1 by 2 v1 square plus g h2 minus g h1 so this is the expression after that finally we can cancel out this value of m because this is uh, present in both sides so we can cancel the value of m in this expression in order to further solve this we, we need some space and after solving this expression we will have a final expression which will be p1 minus p2 into 1 over rho into 1 over rho multi is equal to half v square which is known as v2 square minus half v1 square plus g h2 minus g h1 minus g h1 in addition we can replace the value of uh, density as well in the other side but we can uh, first of all we can separate the value for the region 1 having the subscript 1 so pressure 1 and the other term velocity can be replaced in the left side of the equation plus 1 by 2 v2 and this value of rho is also multiplied rho v2 v1 square plus rho g h1 because rho is also included it will be plus rho g h1 is equal to 
it will be 1 so the other term will be p2 p2 will be replaced and its sign will be changed p2 plus 1 by 2 v2 square including the row and plus row gh2 this is the final expression of the Bernoulli theorem up till now <coughs> we have finished we can uh, generalize this term because p pressure plus uh, density multiplied by velocity in the region 1 and density multiplied by gravitational constant as well as the height is also included and this is known as a constant value in this region or in any region because these three terms are very important this is a very famous Bernoulli's theorem a Bernoulli equation in in the fluid dynamics and most of the student cannot solve this problem it is very important to solve this problem because most of the paper around 90 percent of your papers are included this extensive question of around 5 marks or 8 marks you can solve it easily because I have solved very easy method for you so you can also find out some formulas as well as you can also solve the numericals for your uh, easiness if you have if you want to have any question you can ask me in my email address guys up till now i have finished about the uh, bernoulli theorem in which i in i also included the direction of pressure direction of uh, given area or shaded area as well as i also discussed the change in pressure density and volume in addition we also discussed the work done as well as the change in kinetic energy or work energy principle if you like my video you can subscribe my channel and if you have any question you can ask me and we will see you in the next video stay safe bye bye see you soon